Hi guys, uh, it's John here again from Inspiring Fitness Personal Trainers. I'm um, just going to do uh, another series of, of videos on personal trainer marketing. So you would have seen my introduction, which is the who, what and when. So, you know, who are you going to market to, what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is going to go into the specifics of this sort of series of tutorials. Uh, again, starting off very basic, uh, I heard a quote once which was, uh, success is simple. Uh, if it was complicated, everyone would understand it. I would say the same with marketing as well. Marketing is very simple. Uh, it does doesn't have to be complicated. The first thing I want to say on personal training and marketing, again, if this comes across a little bit patronising, I apologise, but it's really, really important. Moving forward, um, it's becoming more apparent that people are interested in themselves. Um, it's quite an obvious point, but if you think about it, people are only interested in themselves. So that is a bit of um, a conflict when it comes to marketing, because if you're only interested in yourself and the potential client is only interested in themselves, then there could be a bit of a mismatch there. The first thing you need to do when marketing your business is think about what's going on in the mind of the potential client that you want to train. So I talked about the who before, who do you want to train. You've got to go then a little bit deeper than that in terms of your delivery of your marketing message, whether it be your website, whether it be your marketing materials, to say, right, what's going on in the mind of the person that I want to train? And that's what you've got to tailor to. So think about it. You could have all the fantastic qualifications in the world, and they've got their place, all the certifications. We've all got them. But in truth, how important is that to your potential client. Now to some people it is, and you've got to have credibility, but the flip side to that is that if that's your angle only, then is that speaking to your potential client? Good example would be, you've just done a posterior correction course. Great, brilliant, useful. But Mrs. Jones who wants to lose two stone for a daughter's wedding in six months, is that really gonna float her boat? The answer's gonna be no. So it's about having that thought process of thinking, right, what is my potential client thinking about? What is going on in their mind when they're looking for my services. Now the good thing about this, and my attitude to marketing is fairly simple, it's not unscrupulous, it's common sense. You've got to provide that service to somebody, you've got to speak in their language and think about them, and then that will transmute then into your service proposition, because when you're serving these people, you're thinking about them, not thinking about yourself. Uh, which sounds really, really obvious, but it's, it's a key point. So with your marketing message, remember, talk to the person that you want to train. Think about, do some research, as I said before, think about that particular individual, what are they looking for and then with that you can then tailor all your material to them um, I once saw a leaflet and the first two letters on that leaflet was I am now if you think about the person reading that or you reading that if you read I am you're gonna switch off because you're not interested in who they are you're interested in what you want so if that simple tweak would be are you because then you're captivating with a question uh, instead of it being uh, let me tell you about me we don't really care about, if I got a leaflet that was talking about the individual, that's not my problem. My problem is, can you fix my problem, uh, which is whatever that might be in terms of your potential client. So that's your first point. With marketing materials, think about your potential client, what are they thinking, and then tailor all your materials to that. Uh, there's plenty of good books and resources on that. Uh, but yeah, think about that first, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Cheers.